I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of shit come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Now that I am myself again, I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a minute. We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me.
You learn to use what you have. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freyr. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. Sigil should hold the frost, even in the axe's absence. Well done. Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. Skull and Hadi are in Vanaheim? We learned the Giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freyr, too. can break through their shields! Come <laughs> 
Kratos!
So much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Demos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Now, how to get across? My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. Glad you have a spouse to remember fondly. Yeah. Oh. 
all my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depths to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be. to us at last yes uh let's celebrate you reclaim the throne we'll rebuild me and you against the world huh just like the old days i'm not staying i don't understand you're here maybe together we can take back what's ours i only just got back what's mine I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it... One you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported, no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me when I needed you the most. Freya, please. I thought you were dead. No. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. 
I mourn you. Oh, I missed you so much. And I you again. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? What you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if and you ain't staying here, bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right, then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother, here to meet our new allies. Or shall we depart? You suppose that big fella we're traveling with might want to help me with a thing? Mayhaps. Now and again, he's in the mood to make you. Freya, shall we go? I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. And as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Um. Go ahead, carve the letter. Suna. It's an ink. Suna. The elves in Freyr's camp mentioned a gate like this in Alfheim. Get on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barons. A trip to Alfheim. Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do? Oof! <laughs> 
There's a fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. Looks like soundstone to me. I'm sure those new arrows Brock gave you would make quick work of that. So it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now, but he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserve for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard. ...to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well... ...if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not... ...I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Hmm. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. Before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye. But surely the lad's got more sense than to... Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? Sucker, he owes me one.